I hope, so the project, as you know, it's called Ill Assortment. The reason why I named it that was because, well, obviously, I, I just straight up looked up synonyms for mismatched eyes, because I have mismatched eyes, I've had heterochromia. I looked up synonyms for it, and it's, the first thing that came out was Ill Assorted. And I, I've always liked the word ill, you know? Like, it's like, because I would watch Tyler interviews, and he, like, Tyler Crater interviews, and he'd be like, oh, like, this is ill, and I thought that would just be cool, like, a cool thing. Like, when people say, like, shit's ill, like, it's, it's sick, it's, it's cool. You know, I'm all about making shit that's, like, well. Like, that almost to a degree. Like, not just, like, your basic shit, like, your basic, I don't know. I did not write any of this shit down, as you can tell. Let me show you. I had uh, two CDs. One that's for Wolf. One that's for mm, food. This one has taken some damage though. So I don't know why. It just because this really is just a work of art. Like look at this shit. Like this man, like really like picking his nose and shit. You know, just both fingers. That's that's different. People like these are like, the reason why I do the shit that I do today. And hopefully I can get to the point where I'm even someone in the same conversation. Not the same conversation, but like I could be like mention it in like the same sentence as it. Even if it's like, oh, like I see that like he does something that's similar to them. In this case, me being the I'm more complicated. All I'm trying to say is that Tyler the Creator and MF Doom, they're fucking awesome and freaking musical geniuses in my opinion. And I hope that someday I can you know, I just, I just hope this project does well. You know, even if it doesn't, so be it. What matters is that I'm satisfied with it. And I'm probably like a quarter away done with it so far. The tracks I've recorded for it so far, or made so far for it, it's whatever. Yeah, I don't want people to second guess me or being like, I don't want people to second guess me or being like, I don't want it. It feels so good, or felt so good. And then we have, I think we need Oats, or among, out among the stars. I don't know if I'm going to change the title or not. And we made- I'm gonna be going fucking stupid with the production on this project. Like, the beats I've made so far for this, all I'm saying is just, it's gonna be good. If you're watching this, clearly it was good enough for you to watch this documentary, so just... I mean, shit, that's all I really have to say for that. Um, I'll probably re-record this and make it more organized, but if not, because I want to give it like a more raw, real feeling, whatever the fuck. I don't know how I can get any more of a real feeling than I do already now, because I'm making this shit in my basement. I have a freaking soundproof, like, tarper, like, little rug that I got from fucking hardware store up in Source, Connecticut. It was only, like, 22 bucks. And I have this shit stapled to, like, wooden, like, beams in my freaking ceiling. And I'm using, like, a freaking laundry rack. It's like a mic stand and, like, a laptop stand right now. So that should really say it. And I'm making this shit on my laptop. There's no big studio here. I'm just using my MacBook. Which is all I really need. I have my laptop. I have my headphones. I have my mic. I have Logic. I have fucking YouTube to look up samples and shit. Track live, all that shit. Splice. And I have a lot of free time on my hands. So I might as well use it to the best of my ability. Yeah. Transition. So let me uh, show you around, of course. You got my green screen and this. You got my rack here. You got this. You got an empty, non-working record player. You got a TV. You got a bunch of... So this is actually where the magic happens. Pause. That's Igor right there. Let me show you my bottles, actually. So here. So the, the vinyls I have are pretty simple, you know. You got, you got Igor. Of course, you got you got Mad Villainy, of course, fucking classic. It's one of the best rap albums of all time. You got Because of the Internet, because why not? Fucking Worst Guys, Shadows, Pink Toes, you know, Fly Up the Navigator. You have a bunch of those joints up there. My first ever album, actually, is the Bob Dylan vinyl that my aunt gave me. And my favorite vinyl, not my favorite vinyl, but like, like, came. Bro, I came on fucking vinyl, bro. This shit, this is part of the reason why I got into rap. Because I got into, like, you know, making shit. Because this, because, like, bro, I love Donald Glover so fucking much, bro. Like, he's fucking, like, look at this shit, bro. You can't really see it. Look at this shit. Uh, bro, I fucking love this fucking so much, bro. It's so fucking cool. 
just like what he was doing at the time, just like how much shit he was doing. He was looking moody, he was writing, I'm pretty sure he was doing stand-up, he was doing rap, he was doing this shit. It was so like, like nerdy and like, it was, I don't know, I just, I, not even nerdy, it was just like, it was cool. So this is where I kind of record this like little basic like tarp. And I just added this where it's like this like little rack. That's my audio interface and that's my mic. You see this is like a little mic stand right now. And we're gonna record a lot of shit in there. So that's gonna be fun. My record player covered by this fucking, the, why is it so dusty? God damn. <laughs> by this fucking pillow. Why is it dusty? Jeez. That's my bed right there. So I literally live in this, that's my basement. I, I just live here. It has a fucking bridge there. Like, bro. And there's a bathroom. That's the bathroom. So I'm literally chilling right now. So also I got the escape game. This. I don't want people to I don't want people to second guess me. Which is from a a Donald Glover like interview where he's just talking about well it's pretty self-explanatory, like how he just has a bunch of great fucking ideas, which he has and has shown that like you know he's able to execute them pretty well. So he said in the thing is like how he's like doing this and that. And I was like, if I, I wish I was 19, they'd be able to do all that. I'm 19. So not to make the grand comparison, but I'm just saying. Okay, let's get to this fucking shit. I felt, feel so good. Yeah. You laid an alligator. Man, I'm going to go and get I'm this check. I'm not Batman. I'm not Batman. I Tap it. I said, tap in as I tapped in into what the fuck as I cut out. Then I go and get this paper. So I'll see you later, alligator. Dude. I remember when I heard it, I was like, I was very confused up to what I was listening to. Uh huh. Is this a freestyle? Is this. No, this was like the first half of this was a freestyle. Then the second half was like, make shit till I make it. That's the motto. Dun 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 dun. Full throttle in my auto. Dun 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 Like that whole part. Yeah. I'm gonna listen to pop culture references. Someone sign me the mouth sound, or I don't have a cow mind me. What? <laughs> Wait, I'm a cow. Music is my utter. Yeah. Why are you looking at me weird? I didn't fucking stutter. Yes. <laughs> <That shit's weird. laughs> okay. Pop culture references is funny. Okay. What yeah. about oats? I'm listening to oats now. Hey. Dropping down some pennies like Shaq in Orlando. That shit is heat. You okay? I was, I'm glad you get it. Like dropping dimes from Penny like Shaq in Orlando. Hold on, I'm gonna listen to it. Dropping dimes from pennies like Shaq in Orlando. I was wearing camo underwear, going commando. Quick, quick, get rich, quick. Call me Lando. I'll stop with this rhyme scheme. This but Oats is good, dude. Like I know, like. Fuck, appreciate it, thank you. Here we go, shit. Yeah. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah. Fuck, some y'all in this shit for the wrong reasons. Now it's open season coming for y'all. I need like more, like a better tone in my opinion. Some of y'all in, fuck. Yeah, okay, some of y'all in this shit for the wrong reasons. Now it's open season coming for y'all need that. I need to where it's like more chill. Some of y'all in this shit. For I don't like how that. Yeah, okay, some of y'all in this shit for the wrong reasons. Now it's open season coming for y'all need. Open season. Reasons now it's open season coming for y'all need that mindset. Doggy dog reasons now it's open season coming for y'all need that mindset. Doggy dog smell fear canine nine say. Oh bro, what the fuck you? Okay, some y'all in this shit for the wrong reasons. Now it's open season coming for y'all need that mindset. Doggy dog. What the? Okay, hold up. I actually like that. Why do I like that? Yeah. Okay, some y'all in this shit for the wrong reasons. Now it's open season coming for y'all need that. Holy fuck! 
fuck! Holy fuck! Oh, uh, no, not the feedback, that sucks. Holy fuck! Holy fuck! Holy fuck! Holy fuck! Okay, some y'all in this shit for the wrong reasons, now it's open season. And coming for your knee that I, I like that. I don't care what anyone else says. I personally like that a lot. Thanks. Two hours later. Dude, this shit is hard as fu- Oh my god. I like this, I just love it. I can't please everyone. I talk about how good shit is yet to come. I know that you look gross. Yeah, I'm so bad. Yeah, yeah. This shit is hard, dude. This shit is fucking hard. Holy shit. No, the outro, obviously. Just really, just realizing how good this fucking song is. Just hear this shit. Season coming. Oh my god! Okay, so it is a snow day, and there's no one else to do this whole thing whatsoever except like one dude. I'm here to record on the third floor in the study room. I got pop tarts, brown sugar cinnamon. I got my laptop. I got a, a headphone cord. I got a computer charger and a phone charger. And most importantly, and most importantly, I have my microphone with an adapter to my MacBook. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm ready to fucking cook. Yeah, nothing else to Yes. yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, I got you. How dare we not have a Spider-Man? First of all, I am just like incredibly proud of you and like all of the growth that you've done over the years because I've seen you've been putting in the work. You Appreciate know, it. And it paid off. I mean, this is good. Appreciate it's it. It's really fucking good. Appreciate I, it. I, I very much enjoyed listening to this. Um. 
Yeah, man. <laughs> Damn. That's I'm I'm speechless. Man. Bro, like thank you. Cool. Like seriously. And the thing is what's crazy is like if it wasn't for, you know, making shit with people like you, for example, or just you, for example, like I this wouldn't have happened. Like if it if it weren't for us, for me, like because you kind of helped me like tap into like my, like my sound, mm-hmm. but also just like making music in general. Okay? Yeah. So I gotta give my props to you, obviously, on this shit. Hence why Thank I wanted you. to throw you, you on this shit, and not only throw you on there, but also have you be like the first like, like, like when they hear this, like when they first hear my shit, they're also like, hear your shit as well. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Hey, I'm just. I'm glad I got to be here for the journey, and you know I can't I can't wait to see what's next. Appreciate it, man. Hey, I, I hope yeah. I hope it does as well as it deserves because this deserves all the attention, all the motherfucking hype. Shit sure. is hard. All right, well, um, I'll put some of this now, but appreciate you for. I'm talking to you like I'm like interviewing you, shit, like bro. Yeah, I no, appreciate I, you for uh, for coming by. And shit, can't wait to hear what people think of fucking Donald for Spider Man. That's yeah. like if I perform that shit live, bro. That shit's gonna go fucking oh, stupid. absolutely stupid, fucking yeah, stupid. In the ending too, mm-hmm. call it a bit mm-hmm. like tell it to send it like in like bro, 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 like bro. That shit's yeah, okay. yeah, dude. It's hey, well if you uh if you ever on an L A tour, you better call my dude, ass. Well, I'm literally heading into L A this summer. And I, I'll see what I can do. All right, well I'll, I'll catch you, man. Right, I'll catch you later. Peace. Right, peace. Peace. Two hours later. Ugh. I forgot to put this in the documentary, but I submitted the project. I submitted the album. It's coming out this Friday, March 24th, 2023, and I'm very excited for it. Ugh, I just hope that it does well, honestly. Oh, this matches my fucking Wu Tang jack and shit yeah man i'm just excited i played it for my friend quinn quinn finney he's a fucking amazing ass person a great person great mc you know and yeah he's just he fucks with it and literally last night my friend dom who you hopefully know because like he's in the Ellis village and shit by now um he thinks that if I wanted to, not if I wanted to, if I, it was a very deep conversation to say at least that he thinks I can't, the problem is I can't articulate my words pretty well. I don't know if it's ADHD, but I don't know what the case may be, but it's whatever. So he said that my friend Dom, he told me that I could possibly like start a new like subgenre of hip hop. And like, obviously, I'm in, like, the alternative sub but make a sub within that sub which is even more possible, because, like, I want, I can, basically, what I'm trying to say is I want to be, at some point, considered, like, a musical genius, and that may seem, like, irrational, but obviously, that's just the mindset that I have right now, the standards I set myself to, and honestly, if, for some people, like, they just make music, there's some people who make music just to, like, pay their bills and shit but no i want fucking respect i want fucking like all the money if i i don't give a fuck if i don't get a dime off this shit if i get like respect and like cool cosigns i'm able to like go on tour and do all the fun shit but also like all the cool and like fucking like all the shit that comes with it like i didn't i don't make i don't make this music for money if that was the case i wouldn't use all the fucking samples that i use you know, I do this because I genuinely love fucking making music, and specifically the music that I make, because it's my music, the way I like it. That's why I want to produce. That's why I like producing now. Because I, but as soon as, like, because it gives me, like, in a in a way, full creative freedom, because I don't want to just go on YouTube and be like, oh, I'm not feeling that one. With, like, making a beat, like, you can, like, craft it however you want. It's like a sandbox. Like, I used to play fucking Gary's Mod all the time in like those sandbox games because i just love like having like full range or free range just to like do whatever the fuck i want and yeah i think that's that's why i do it because i love it i make shit from the heart not from the fucking business side of things not from the fucking i don't rap it like 
from my dick about my dick rant. No, fuck that. I rap about shit that I love because I love this shit, man. I really do. So that's the album. Yeah, I mean, shit. <sighs> yeah, I think this will conclude the documentary unless I have some other parts, but yeah, hopefully this does well. I have a good feeling well about it. So. Peace. So what is this fucking Wu-Tang jacket? This is weird. Oh, I got a freaking pre-mark. Fuck it. It's a six high. Peace. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Wow. <laughs> That's my birthday. <laughs> nah, that'd be fine. Birthday. <laughs>